at how to do ranking in Microsoft Excel. In this session, I'll be showing you how to rank. So here, I have this uh, Excel data. I have student names, class, various subjects, and the total. So I need to do ranking. So to do ranking here, guys, I just need to click on that point, then type the ranking function, rank. Then I take the first value, that is I2. Then I put a comma. Uh, the range should be from I2 to I15. So guys, I just type that uh, I need to be in I2 all the way to I15. You see, Microsoft Excel has been in a position to uh, detect that I want to rank from I2 to I15. But guys, the range in which you are supposed to rank should be in absolute. Absolute, that is in absolute uh, cell addressing. And for that case, guys, I need to do some editing on the formula. So I just go to this point. Absolute means that um, the formula will not change in case it is typed, in case it is uh, copied into a new location. And for that case, guys, I just do that. I just come to that point there. Then uh, I put dollar sign uh, before and after. Then I do the same here by putting a dollar sign before and after the letter. For that case, I also need to inform or tell Microsoft Excel uh, whether to rank in descending or ascending order. So for that case, descending order is represented by zero, ascending order is represented by one. And for that case, I need mine to be in descending order. Then from there, I press enter. Guys, once you do that, you realize that, um, uh, once I do that, you realize that uh, I have uh, position number nine as my first uh, position. For that case, you just come down here and out of field. So guys, once you do that, you realize that Microsoft Excel has ranked uh, for me the totals. Then in case I needed to display these formulas, I just press Control and Tyred. Uh, that is Control and Tyred, guys. You can be in a position to, the, uh, to see the formulas that I have uh, used. So this is uh, Tyred. That is Tyred. You can just Google and see how Tyred looks like. So guys, that's how you perform ranking in Microsoft Excel, having been given some data. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, consider giving me a subscription. Also share and like my videos.